What is up YouTube, it is Matty and welcome to this video where we do a war recap with the clan Desolation. So this is the second recap I've done in this clan. Um, I had just enough time before in a range war to squeeze a second war in which if I can and I do get the opportunity I'll always try and do two wars in a clan because I think one war you just don't get to really, um, it could be a duff war like a, a mismatch or um, just a really bad farm war so I always give it a, a good two. And that way it gives you a big better feel for the clan as well. So much similar to the la what I said in the last video. And um, Desolation, it, it is a level 10 clan. Um, and they are... Oh, wrong thing. Um, they're, they're a good mix of chill and hardcore. So, um, you know, the the actual war attacks are all de all, all three-star attacks. Um, and obviously they've got a website and and, and um, use it, um, an app called Band, which I've never heard of before, which is actually quite cool. Um... <laughs> and they're really in a tough matchup at the moment. If you actually look at this, four tens and two, sorry, four elevens and two tens versus um, eleven elevens, and all the way down to seventeen on the uh, tens. And these guys are not weak bases either. These are um, pretty high level that they're against, so they are going to be up against it. Um, I'm afraid. So unfortunate mismatch there. Um, I guess these things do happen, but wow, uh, I would not like to be on the uh, opposing side to that. So uh, I know a lot of them are not too chuffed about that mismatch, but that's not the war recap we're doing, obviously, because that war hasn't even started yet. It is the war versus Spider Clan. So, yeah, really enjoyed my stay with the guys. Devrelex is the leader, and he's a really sound guy. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice place to be. So I'm really happy to be bringing the second war re recap here. And the first attack we're actually going to show is by Rubel, um, which is not the attack on number 12. So let's have a little look. And um, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the Town Hall 9s in this video, there were about ha a good half of them, were just a completely shocking bases. So although the guys did well to get the three stars on them still, because even even on poor bases, you've got to you, you know you've got to play it right to still get the three. Um, it just means that the um, it's not that good to watch. So I've tried to pick the ones that... Um, and there are some on the higher up where they're more interesting designs. But I've got a good mix of Tannel 10s in this recap as well. And I think you're going to enjoy the Tannel 10 coverage. Um, because there's some pretty good hits. So uh, you can see at the moment taking down the CC. Taking a rush into the core. Pretty standard approach. What he's trying to do is get um, definitely one air defence. And in fact he's pr I think he's trying to aim for the second one. Whether he's going to get it is going to be down to those golemites by the look of it because the queen has decided to run round in circles. In fact, it doesn't look like he is going to get the second. In fact, the king's gone and got the second air defence. So he's uh, clutched it for him. He's only a level 14 king, but he's been down to go and get two air defences. So with two gone, life's a little bit easier with downward facing expo. Again, that makes life easier. Um, I would have dropped two hounds on the first air defence. Maybe... Um, which doesn't surprise me, is that he was hoping to get three air defences from the kill squad because he's only bought two hounds. Um, so quite, quite, that, but what that means is he's got quite a lot of loons. Um, but because the defences are a bit weaker and because he's able to basically target all those defences, two hounds was more than enough on this occasion. Um, it, it just worked out and he's got, you can see how much overkill it is with all these loons that are left. Unfortunately, his queen's going to die before the loons can get there and finish off the cannon. Um, but the the raid is done. Um, quite a bit on cleanup. He hasn't got that many uh, wizards. He didn't bring any wizards or anything for the cleanup. But he's got a good mix of loons and pups, which should which will be enough to get him the um, the three star within the time. Um, which I'd imagine would have been a sort of approaching close, maybe uh, 10, 20, 30 seconds left. Who knows? Um, but decent attack by Rubel, so good to see that. Next one we're going to show is number eleven. Um, GNW 1976. And it's a variant of like the general uh, with open f open sides. And what GNW does is sees an opportunity to take two air defences down straight away, um, and then push in towards the queen. Um, well, I was uh, treating it like a shattered lion then, but it's more of a go. Well, it's a go vaho. Um, what I like here uh, is you'll get to see the Valk usage quite nicely. Um, beautiful jump spell straight into the core. I mean, you couldn't have planned that better. Didn't need to f um, mess around with wall breakers because of that. Um, 
Nice late drop on the Valks. I mean, the CC was fully dead before the Valks needed to, um, before the Valks even entered the battlefield, really. Um, and here we go. The Valks are moving nicely in there into the core. Now, what you need them to do, a couple of gone on the um, flank, which is perfect because um, they need to go and get that extra defense down. But in the core, they are just gutting it. The king is there as well. Um, they're going to manually force through a wall. And you can see the hog drop coming in now to. Um, to, sit, to target those defences and they're going to clump up nicely but watch this all the Valkyries I mean most of them die here um, because of the, that double giant bomb but they've done enough they've done more than enough actually to uh, we have got a couple survivors which are trying to break through a wall but look all those defences are, are being tanked so the huge wave of hogs is coming in and that arch tower is just going to get overloaded right now it's got no chance with king queen and valkyries alive on the cleanup as well it's just an absolute massacre so great to see um, nice use of the hogs um, to support the Govaho part of the raid. Um, I would have dumped the Max Girl and, and added some um, CC Valkyries instead. Uh, maybe heads up, you think you get more bang for your buck if you've got Max Valks. Um, so, here's Dev, uh, leader. Now, the last war recap and this week war recap, I think he's going to feature twice. Um, and he's Queen Walking. So... Not many people are queen walking post update, or if they are, they're shorter walks, and you have to be so much more careful. Um, but if you can find opportunities such as this, where um, she's not taking on too many defences at once, um, she is going to prove high value though. So she's going to use the queen. He's going to use the queen to take down um, defences, the queen, the clan castle. Um, and try and get, keep allow her to survive and just be useful throughout the raid. Now, the, the the beautiful part of this raid is the golem walk. Now, you're going to watch this and probably be impressed like I was with it. So, poison down nice and early. Here, got the wizard, one wizard went off um, to go and get the minion. Um, that isn't going to affect things too much because the queen will make short work, work of a single wizard. Um, he is going to get a shot in. Um, in fact, a second shot in and make him pop the ability. But watch this. Golem down now. Look, just as he popped that ability, the second expo is on her. But look at this. Watch what happens. Golem moving. Wizard sort of f following the golem. King following the golem as well. And, he, but, well, it's it's simple. He sends a group of hogs in now. So the all those defences are hitting that golem. He's just going to keep running around, having a little dance. Um, the queen's still alive. Still getting hit by that expo, that and she does end up dying because of the sweeper. Um, just didn't give her a chance. But look at this, that golem walk is working like a charm. Um, with the healers now switched to him. Um, and now the healers are, I think they're on the hogs actually there. Um, but look at that. The golem's almost back up to full health, and he's still tanking for the uh, the hog riders, um, which is a just it was just a genius move. I really enjoyed that. Um, getting to watch the the king and wizards clean up as they go. The hogs um, being used in conjunction with this uh, the golem, and then he sends a mini kill kill squad of what six hogs in there to go and get the uh, Teslas in the core. Because uh, they would, Teslas do make short work of hogs, especially when there's a Tesla farm, like in this scenario. Um, but yeah, what a, what a nice um, all-round attack, combining Queen Walk, Golem Walk, King Walk with Wizards, um, Surgical Hog in the core. Um, yeah, it was just mad. I loved it. Um, really did. So yeah, this is the sort of stuff Dev does. If you like, if you like watching his attacks, which I certainly did. Um, obviously, there's only one way to to go and find out. Anyway, number seven to next one we're going to show. Attack by Ares. Uh, I think number eight was a dip, and it's again a shattered Larloon. We love a good shattered Larloon. Um, there is only again two hounds instead of three, um, and a heavier number of loons. So we're going to see how that comes into play on this attack. Um, typically, you, as you guys know, the standard Shattered Larloon's um, strategy would have been um, a third hound. Now, this is the thing, because if he'd have took an extra three... I mean, why has he got three extra wall breakers? I don't know, um, because they're not going to add much... Event. I don't think they're going to add any value into into this raid, so it seems almost pointless. King is about to die. Um, oh, he just about caught the ability there. Unfortunately, the wizards, if they'd have kept following him, they'd have got some defences down. Um, pups are killing the golems slowly. 
Um, but the queen is going to about to get into the dream position where she is now, where well she's going to finish off those pups first, but then she's going to start hitting those two air defenses. We hope. Um, and he's dropped the hound in early. I mean, with four air defenses left, you do n and two hounds, you do not want to be dropping the hound in early. So I would have waited. Um, definitely waited but here it is two hounds in one hound is basically popped a second hound has just took a second air mine and uh yeah but the rage of those loons going through now onto the final air defense and they're both about to pop they both have popped but the question is how quick can he get those loons onto that air defense and can he get it down quick enough and they luckily they targeted the air defense and not the expo because that could have been at the end of the raid right there um and he's been able to push through and get the three, um, which is pretty pretty interesting considering his king walked off, considering he only bought two hounds for two air defences, um, and the queen, and he dropped the hounds early. You know, it was just, wow, it was a little bit mad, but hey, got the three. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe the meta's changed slightly, I don't know, but the the, ha the Laloon seems still a very, very strong strategy. Govaho obviously had the nerf with the uh, Valks HP, that's still a good strategy, don't be deterred by that. Queen Walk has been nerfed, it is still used as well in um, some cases. So, I'm trying to say is, Town Online is very much opened up now. Three minutes on the timer is great. Um, it really forces the attacker to think more. Um, extra damage on the expos, extra HP on the wizard towers again makes the attacker think more. Makes the more uh, the margin for error smaller. Um, although it's not you know it's not tight. It's not um, it's not enough to make um, less of the war enthusiasts make it. You know it's not impossible, but you need to be using three star strategy if you're just still trying to go wipe you're never going to be able to three star really are you um unless it's like one in a hundred hits but yeah it's um I'm, i love the fact it's been made that little bit difficult more difficult and again in this scenario so he's used a um he's managed to because both of the expos are on up um the the range is slightly is that much smaller meaning his queen is good so he's already used the queen to kill um the enemy clan castle now this is a brilliant attack i want you to watch this because i'm thinking those healers are going to get hit by that air defense um he's already started the shattered entry a lot of wizards um taking down all those trash buildings on the outside jump spell in and the king is going to go in to go and get the enemy queen and while the um air defense is hitting those healers guess what he does pumps in his hogs basically all of them um, to go and target that air defense get it down and essentially what they're doing now is tanking for the queen so they've taken over the response the healers have sort of lost the responsibility one healer's actually gone off and started helping with the hog riders which is perfect king's in and um, he's slammed the enemy queen and now he's sort of gridlocked but because he's all his barbs are alive he should make short work of that le uh, lava wall which he has he's already through gonna get the king the girl is still there the queen's on the outside now on cleanup full cleanup the hogs are under heel for that giant bomb and it's all coming together so nicely and he's got a raid um, he did get slammed by a giant bomb there which isn't the end of the world because he's been able to um, well yeah well, basically all the defences were gone by the time he'd hit it so I just again it's just one of those attacks which is really nice it just all sort of came together very seamlessly and got a great 3 star from it so uh, just that elixir storage left and we are done dodged another double giant bomb there and just triggered it at the end so, good job to Dev. We're going to switch into the Tunnel 10 game now because it was really good. Um, we're going to hit number 4 with Rocky Bones. So, fresh hit. Uh, I looked at this base and almost like think I was, I was a bit stumped by it, which angle to go in. How am I going to target a double multi Infernos? Um, let's look how Rocky does it because he's got, you know, I'm higher level on the heroes than him. And he has got max wizards and max golems, but I've got max hogs and max valks. But he has got max valks as well, and obviously all the spells are the same. So very similar accounts is what I'm trying to say. So this could have been me, um, which I like that because it means it, you know. And getting to see Govaho again is great. So only eight hog riders. That is small. That is not many. <laughs> not many. Um, I'm interested to see what he's got in the clan castle. But look at this. Four, there you go. Four. Golems going in, King going in. He's going to need. Oh, I was going to say he's going to need to poison, but he hasn't got anything to go and kill the CC yet. 
Um, the queen is now going to go in. I've got to hope that, that wizard doesn't slam. The wizard is dead. Good. I'm going to say the wizard would slam those um, uh, Valkyries. So the heel's down. He's going to want to drop a freeze. He has dropped the freeze. A lot of the Valkyries are dying. The rage is there. Now watch what happens. Valkyries under rage. There's only like four or five there. Boom. 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 King on the multi. Boom. He's taken it down. But what's happened is those Valks have basically all died because of the two multis um, and the lack of heal for them but that's fine because he's bought four golems so look what's happening on the right hand side you've got two golems tanking there single wizard on the arch tower is brilliant you got a bit of tank on the left with um with the king i would have sent i tell you now i would have sent a hog in onto that um arch tower for sure um i mean he's gonna have to go back for that at some point but look at this most of the hog or oh, all of the hogs in there and what he's done is allowed those golems to just be full tank for him. The king's coming to tank as well. And those hogs are now just going to tear through those back end defences. Um, and and, it, and it's worked out. I mean the hogs are going to have to travel all the way back to get that um, final arch tower. And you've got to hope they don't path over a potential giant bomb threat. I mean is that golem going to walk over one? No. I thought it might be one there you see then. Um, but yeah, he's been, I mean, it's a lovely attack. So I'm, I can't express how happy I am that uh, Tunnel, not, Tunnel 10 is now fair game. Um, is it too easy? I don't know. Um, because I've, I've, had a, I've had a couple of fresh hit three stars now. Um, I've been practicing in matchmaking. I know, and it, but, and it is doable um, with the right strategy and the right, um, yeah, it does rely on a bit of luck. Um, so then... I don't know, but all I know is it's opened up, it's more fun. Rocky Bone's second hit, let's have a look at this. Now, this was a cleanup attempt on my attack. Now, I did cover it live, um, and I can't see any... I think I carried the live... I, I, I commentated the whole thing and finished off the video. Um, so I should be able to link that video to this video. Um, so, yeah, Rocky... Again, quite heavy on the golems. I think he's quad quad goleming again. Um, only eight hogs, ten valks. So he's got he, he's got his stock army, and he's happy with it. What I like here, he's got two heal spells. Now, what he's clearly going to attempt to do is tank those infernos um, or first inferno, get those valks in to go and destroy the core, and use their freeze for the second inferno. And with that freeze, you can also get some um, expos, and that that would that would be nice if that all worked out for him. So, in go the Valkyries. There goes all ten. This is going to be crucial now how this red goes to see what they do. What you would hope is that he gets a bit of tank. Um, hasn't got much. Rage spell down. Look how quickly he tears through this. Um, free spell down but misses anything. Well, he gets the first Inferno which might have helped him out a little bit. Misses that second one though which I thought he would have been aiming for. Um, King has gone in. Valks are just destroying the core quickly. Hasn't used any heal spells for the Valkyries. Now, is that a smart decision? They all ended up in almost constant fire from Infernos anyway, so would that have helped? I don't think... I think he made the smarter choice on this road. The King finally does get the Inferno Tower, and he's able to use um, a heal spell for his first Hog Riders. Now, there's a lot of factors on this raid. Could Max Hogs have made the difference? Could he have healed the core to get the... Um, try and keep those Valks alive? Could he have brought a second free spell? Um, and freeze both inferno towers and kept that one of that heal kept that heal spell um or held back one of the heal spells to get make sure his valks got smarter use or better use should we say so there's a lot of questions and i think a lot of the answers could have led to a potential three star but it's hindsight's a bitch and um looking back um you know and reviewing a raid of this could have been better that could have been better you know you're in when you're in that 3 minute timer and the you click start on the raid it you know pressure's on you've got to you've got to just do what you can um but yeah potentially looking at this road i think that the best way to have improved it would have been to drop one of those heal spells and add in a, an extra freeze um, might have been the option for me the rage just helped the valks tear through it i got caught out by a second inferno on that raid that's why it hurt me two multis is quite devastating to valkyries i've got to say so you've got to find a way to either tank for one with giants, for example, uh, which is what I did try and do, it uh, didn't quite work out though, um, or freeze them. Number one, 99% uh, by Tex. Now, this is an 11 on a 10 dip, um, but 
it's a good raid, um, and it, and it's using the Valkyries. It's no Hog Riders, um, which I would have probably added into this raid because I love, uh, I just love Hogs for the back end. But let's watch how it goes down. So Golems, King, Queen, and um, Warden all in at the start, and the Valkyries. The CC are being dealt with, and a load of Giants. Now the mistake I think he's made. Um, which is twofold actually, um, is one, always send your giants in first, the purpose of giants is to add damage um, per second into taking defences down, but secondly to tank, tank infernos, if the valkyries are, the valkyries are massively quick anyway, so they're just going to run up front and just go and just sort of um, charge in and balls deep and, and just go for it. So you've got to get those giants down in almost at the start to give them chance to get in and be of use um, for tanking purposes so that the Valkyries survive. The idea of these attacks or the purpose of bringing Valkyries in is that you need them to survive because their damage per second is ridiculous. So, And they just hit so hard and fast so you need to keep them alive. So I don't think he's got many um, still going at this point but he could have been melting through these walls. And that would have added time, and that extra time would have helped him out. So, there's quite a few, um, and also, there was a quite a hefty rush of wizards to go in with them. Now, I assume he obviously wanted to add that DPS into the kill squad, being that he's got golems, king, queen, you know, he's got some good tank in there. So, throwing in those wizards, um, I wouldn't have done it. I'd have saved a few and brought an extra, brought some hogs. Um... But each to their own. Everyone has their own style of attacking. And who am I to criticise um, a Max Townall 11 um, who's had a, a hell of a lot more experience in the game than I have at that, uh, you know, at the higher tier um, town hall levels. Um, but again, I just thought, hmm, if if he'd have got those giants in earlier, would it have made that difference? Would more Valkyries has, had have survived? Um, so I'm I'm almost feeling more comfortable now being able to commentate on um, Tunnel 10 and Tunnel 11 because I'm starting to understand it myself. I'm starting to pick apart bases my, um, and trying to understand how it all comes together. Now this is the the moment here. I mean it's so unfortunate. So what what have we got? A queen hitting a lava wall um, and Golemite's going getting hit by an inferno and it's going to come to a, just a really unfortunate end here. So I've got, my heart goes out to him. But watch this. Queen on the expo, few hits, one more hit needed, and she died. <laughs> I mean, that's brutal. It really is brutal. For the three star on number one as well, one on one. I know it's a dip, but still, uh, to shame. Shame is definitely the word I would use here. But that's it for the recap, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed a nice mix of Tunnel 9 and Tunnel 10 action. Dev showing some really good hits on the on the nines. Um, my hits have been going to be covered in live attacks because I'm trying to really pump out the live attacks for you guys because I know um, everyone's interested in, or most people seem to be interested in how I'm faring in the Tunnel 10 game. And I think live attacks are the best way to get a judge of how, it, how I feel during the raiding process and what my preparation's like. So... Hope you enjoyed the recap anyway, and I'll catch you on the next one guys. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Peace.